Jesus. Yes, uh, this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I'm at Point Reyes. And uh, we're going to be looking at the Thule Elk today, apparently, if we can find one. I saw them on the way down here. We drove from uh, Mill Valley, uh, San Rafael area, uh, down a road, a rather circuitous road, uh, to get here so we can uh, check out the uh, seashore around here. So I'm going to walk around, look at all as it ends. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. It's a cool day in the uh, mid-60s, uh, the last day of May 2023. Let's go for a little walk. So we're at the park. Beautiful old uh, white buildings. In that direction is the bay. In that direction is the ocean. In that direction. So, came here with my wife and her friends. Temperatures are in the uh, mid 60s. Definitely a cool breeze. Again, like I said earlier, it's the last day in May 2023. They have information in front of a lot of these buildings giving you some of the history of the colonial folks here. I'm hopeful that there's some uh, information about the indigenous people also. Crossing my fingers. And there's a dog barking over there. Park residences. And there's a dog barking over there. Side of one of the buildings. Of course, being by the ocean, it's rather weathered. And we parked in the parking lot down there. Noisy dog. I figure this is the park ranger. Nice gig if you can get it. And there comes my wife. She's been looking for me. Where's my husband? He's supposed to be with us, hanging out. Beautiful area. They've uh, pretty much uh, in the Marin area where they have quite a bit of money have determined that uh, a lot of this, uh, these buildings are it. Not, they don't want, you know, condos, apartment complexes, subdivisions to an effect, you know, promulgate, is that the term? So what's there, sweetie? This is the carpentry shop, and it's where the ranch hands built the butter boxes to put the butter in from the dairy cows. And there were 20 people that worked here on this working ranch. Very nice. It's amazing, you come to an area, you kill all the Indians, you can have some uh, nice life. A really nice life after you kill off all the Indians and uh, you can settle the land and just live the dream that you've always wanted in uh, Europe and now you can have in the United States. But you have to get rid of the locals first. So which way did your friends go, left or right? right. Wow, look at that little road down here, it's pretty, huh? I like that tree root. Look at that big old tree fell down. So we're walking this way. What do you have what do you have in your backpack other than all my stuff? Warm clothes. Warm clothes. Water. She has some water in there also.
enjoying the views. Absolutely gorgeous around here. Hope you enjoy this uh, tour, this little walk, vicariously. Let me sh we got these mounds of yellow flowers. Let me show you a close-up. There we are. Some of you folks out there are botanists. You can say, yeah, this is a certain type of flower. I do not know. But they do have these very nice, large, trees. It's a good simple walk. Soft soil, no hard rocks. Very pleasant. Again, very sandy. You can see the uh, very easy to walk on. Of course, being close to the beach, you would assume it's sandy, huh? Maybe we'll see something at the top of this hill. Maybe we'll see the ocean. I'm crossing my fingers. Again, this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And leave your kind and friendly comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, have you been down here? Annie, what is this place called? Point Reyes National Seashore. Point Reyes National Seashore. My wife wanted to see the Thule elk. And we're in the Thule elk range. Okay. My wife has been here many times with her friends. My wife's doing very well hiking lately. She has got her aerobic fitness down. She, and her joints are doing fantastic. Many of our friends have had uh, their joints replaced. But we, both, Annie and I are both pretty lucky that uh, our joints are in relatively good shape. Relatively. And he just pointed towards the left, and that's the ocean. Let's take a peek at the ocean after we uh, go a little further in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a peek over here. And over there is the ocean. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. Beautiful. It's overcast. I can hear a bunch of bees. Let me take another peek here. Down there, some calla lilies. Very nice. And of course, thistles, various flowers, and of course, the Pacific Ocean. This area is. Uh, Marin County, across the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, up the coast, maybe 50, 100 miles. Some flowers you can take a peek at. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. I like these too. These are very, very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. You know, I've always appreciated flowers. My mother grew roses and grew various flowers from cuttings. She would go to the San Jose Rose Garden and they'd leave clippings there and she would promulgate. Is that the right term? Promulgate or promulgate or I am not too good on that word. 
uh, just from the clippings. She would put it in root tone and the hill would root in the sand and then she plant it outside. So we had a good several dozen rose bushes in our yard in San Jose, California because uh, everything grows well in San Jose, California. There's my wife looking towards the ocean. Having uh, lived in Texas, this is definitely a treat to come to California and enjoy the coast, the rugged coast of California. The waters on the beaches here quickly become quite deep as compared to like in the Gulf near to Port O'Connor, Port Aransas. You can go out 50 feet and it's still only a couple feet deep. Over here you go 10 feet, you're in 10 feet of water. Go 20 feet, you're in 20 feet of water, so you got to be very careful. Beautiful flowers. Quite picturesque. Here's another view you can see of the waters down here. Of course, my uh, DJI Pro, what is this thing called? DJI Pocket, number two, not Pro, it's a Pocket, <laughs> number two, uh, has a super wide lens, so you, I wish I can zoom into that. Maybe the next iteration of this camera will have a zoom. You'll never know. Here come some old folks. Hello. One of the benefits of an overcast day and for photographers is that there's no super distinct shadows. In many instances, that's a positive. So what are you looking at, sweetie? The uh, outcropping? My wife's wearing her keen Sandals with some socks. Let me see. Let me show. Show the folks out there. Show me. Ooh, very fashionable. Very nice. But over there, again, I wish I could zoom in there, but I can't. Little beach. Little outcropping. Very nice. Very nice. So I'll pause this video for a second. We'll be back in a bit. Yeah, Annie, we don't need to point the... Uh, I can see the uh, Okay, just... Uh, I can see. Yes. My wife didn't want to meet us. Walk into some poop. Hopefully no uh, person that was hiking here just let the dog poop in the middle of the thing. That would be... Rather rude, don't you think? Super rude. Okay, so let's pan over here. And we'll call this a little break here in the video. Beautiful cloud cover. Beautiful scenery. You can't complain. Get you out your 8x10 view camera and take some pics. Or your smartphone, whatever. Whatever you have, just take some pics. So what do you think of this view? Somebody off in the distance taking photographs of flowers and the landscape the seashore.
Nice flowers, huh? We're climbing up and up and up now. That was pretty flat for a while. Now I've been going up. Just to get over this little hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it. It's a serious incline. Down there's the beach, and we came from way over there. Let me run up there. So how are you doing, sweetie? Seems you've been taking me on some long hikes recently. I think so. Not super long hikes. Like a 20 year old would say it's long. Yeah, we're not going all day and all night. I mean, you know, all day and all morning and all afternoon. Like we used to do back in our 30s and 40s. Oh, yeah, we're going up that way. I'm a bit breathless. Since we're at uh, Point Reyes, might as well show you the beach, huh? This is one of the more popular beaches just down the road. We decided just to give you a quick peek. A lot of footsteps in the sand. We were down there, way down there about good five miles. It's nice to come to the beach. Since I live in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, yeah, the beach is pretty far away and the beach that we do get is uh, not as uh, turbulent as this. It's a uh, very uh, Easy going beach. You can walk out about 50 feet and it's maybe a couple feet deep. But over here, you walk out 50 feet and you're bound to get into 20 feet of water. So, what do you think? Again, this is Point Reyes National Seashore. down there with the red backpack that's my wife there she is Annie so we parked over here there's the restrooms and this is the coastal dunes at the Point Reyes Headlands, says here Point Reyes National Seashore is home to many endangered plants and animals, but few people realize that we have ecosystems that are also in danger. So, yeah, these very pretty ice plants. You go on a trail, walk down that direction. Looks like you can go that and then go like up there. They do have uh, signs. What does that sign say? Let's go take a peek. Is there a little water faucet. Can't complain about that. Let's see if it actually works. Looks like it's starting to rust, fall apart. Let's see if it works. Yes, it works. Amazing. So if you want some fresh water. And the sign says, do not enter fenced area. So that little piece of string 
is uh, says do not enter. What do you think? It's an overcast day. It was warmer that direction significantly, uh, but over here it's cooler. There's no rhyme or reason other than uh, it's uh, significantly more overcast here. We'll check out this little sign over here and we'll call it good and then we'll get the back to the rest of the video. It says uh, sharing the beach with western snowy plovers. Western snowy plovers are small shorebirds about six to seven inches in length. They live on coastal beaches and dunes along the Pacific coast. And let's see how my wife's doing over here. Tomorrow we're going to Santa Cruz, Capitola beaches. I have a friend over there who lives in SoCal. SoCal, C O, no, C O Q U E L, not Southern California. SoCal, the city by Capitola and uh, Santa Cruz. How was it, sweetie? are so strong it's amazing so I could see people hanging out here and having uh, fires looks like they've had fires yeah. in the past absolutely but definitely I would never go in there it just looks very dangerous I would think so but you know every year people die because the currents take you out and when the currents come in you got to go sideways if you're a good swimmer right. to get away from the currents and then come back in Ooh. But uh, in San Francisco, the beaches down there, the city beaches, etc., etc., you have issues. So, are you ready to get back in the car, sweetie? Yes, yes, absolutely. I've got sand all over my in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I touched, I put my hand in the water, and tasted it. it was nice and salty. <laughs> That's a shock. Uh. So let's get a final look at the beach before we uh, head down the road. Back to uh, San Rafael, California. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. We've come to the end of this video on Point Reyes. Very nice area. Beautiful day, last day of uh, May 2023. Cool breeze. Warmed up quite a bit. It wasn't totally overcast. Again, super verdant hills, very green. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell for future notificaciones and uh, leave your kind and super, super, absolutely fabulous comments, questions, suggestions below. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me turn around the camera. It's my wife off in the distance and one of her friends headed up and then headed down again from uh, Point Reyes National Seashore I think it's called I may be wrong gracias adios bye bye